time getting flued out, y'all. Y'all really want to know all the tea. <laughs> Broke like job, not that rock that pee. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be doing like this first time. It's called my first time because some people are new here, so I wanted to like, I guess, bring up my past so y'all can get a little bit of me or whatever. So yeah, I hope that this video does that for you. So yeah, y'all, and this video is sponsored by Wig Encounters and this fucking wig, y'all. My hair is popping. Like, I'm so proud of myself. Like, I literally wanted to give up on this fucking hairstyle because it was so complicated. And, but you know what? God literally came through and gave me the fucking strength to not give up, okay? So, but yeah. Anyway, so if you're new here, hello. My name is Kyra. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do it right now. I'm not playing. And yeah, let's just hop right into the video. What's poppin'? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna be doing my first time. Y'all, I mean, so yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna do an intro any fucking way, so whatever. So before we even get into the video, I do have to do my hair and we have to talk about it. Let's talk about her right here. What's your name, girl? Um, this is my first time doing a wig on camera, so I'm a little nervous, so please. It's gonna be sped up anyway, but still, like, I be getting a little nervous. My nerves be bad. But this wig is from Wig Encounters. Y'all, I'm excited about this wig because this lace girl like y'all see a close-up but i bleached the knots and then i plucked a little bit of the baby hairs because i'm going for this look arrogant tay did on ari he like did a middle part and then like twisted her things and like curled her hair at the end and i also dyed this hair jet black so yeah and it's so soft and it's so pretty like so yeah we finna just get to installing her so, I don't, I think my camera is dirty. My shit was dirty. Now, that looks so much better. But anyways, y'all. So, yeah, we finna get to installing this wig. Okay, I'm about to thread my braid so we can have a flat install in the back. And y'all, I got my eyebrows. I think she put henna on them or something. But I like getting my eyebrows tinted now and they're so cute. Um, the girl that does them, her name is Kayla. So if you see my eyebrows looking a little intense right now, it's because I just got them done yesterday. But I personally like them. I mean, they look, they look natural, honestly. So, they look cute. And I appreciate all the love that y'all been sending me because I just got over COVID. I'm still, you know, um, trying to, you know, stay quarantined and you know prepare myself for next month and i just gotta make sure that i'm good that this is just out of my system and yeah and i just appreciate y'all and love y'all so much because y'all just love me and i love y'all back like a hundred times a hundred times back I know anybody's gonna be lonely Without 
Did I say at the beginning of the video? But yeah, I'm gonna be using this gummy lace adhesive air containers as this glue, so I'm pretty excited. And I just really want a flawless, you know, finish. Y'all, at first I didn't really care to use glue but now like glue just makes sense and it's just a process taking it off but to put one of these elastic bands on I'm gonna put one more just to make it a little bit more tight because I really want this to be a good okay so I'm about to let this dry for a couple minutes like three minutes and then I'll come right back but no bullshit y'all this hair is bomb as fuck like it's so fucking soft and just I can just run my fucking fingers through it like just so effortless. Oh my god. I love this. Oh my god. Okay y'all, so I just went ahead and did my hair off camera. Well not my all the hair, but um just lay my baby hairs and y'all will see the laces hitting baby. And um yeah, and I'm going for like a Pacific style, so it did take me a little minute to pluck it. So, yeah, girl, it was a fucking struggle. Because y'all know I'm not no hair stylist or nothing. I'm still starting up. So, I'm in the middle of my makeup, so I just decided... The camera was back charged, so I decided to just come back and, you know, get into the video. So, yeah, so I am going to be flat ironing this hair. What's crazy is that this hair... It's like, it's a wash, but it's like, it's doable to be just worn just like this. You know what I'm saying? You don't even need to like flat iron it if you didn't want to. If you were going for that little messy look, you didn't really have to. But yeah, so anyways, let's just get into it because y'all sent me a whole bunch of stuff because I asked y'all my first, it was like my first or something. And um, so I'm going to be answering y'all. Um, what y'all wanted to know about my first, <laughs> a lot of y'all is nasty, but, um, yeah, let me see, let me go to my archive. All right, let's get into a, these questions, well, they're not questions, my first, so yeah, there's a lot here, so we're, I'm going to be answering all of them, so yeah, let's get into it. So, okay, so let me start flat ironing my hair. And then don't mind my makeup, y'all. I'm literally, um, obviously I'm in the middle of, um, you know, doing it. So, 
so but yeah and these lashes are my favorite lashes they're by big bank so make sure you check out homegirl let's just hop right into it so okay so okay Mm. okay we just gonna cut the shit because y'all is nasty y'all trying to be all up in my coochie and trying to know the first time like i lost you know my v card you know did the little nasty thing or whatever and the uh flat irons that i'm using today are the baby bliss ones bitch these flat irons are bomb as fuck i would definitely invest in a good flat iron because this shit gets straight like ASAP. But anyway, so yeah, y'all wanted to know my first time, you know, doing a little nasty or whatever. So, okay, so it wasn't even, you know what's crazy? It wasn't even with my first boyfriend in high school. It was my second boyfriend in high school because, you know, you know, like, um, and it's crazy because the boy that I the second boy that I dated see me going crazy as fuck off the other boy. Y'all know high school, everybody know everybody. So, yeah, my first boyfriend, he was cheating on me at the football game. Oh, yeah, y'all asked me about my first boyfriend, too. Like, he was a square-ass nigga, y'all know. Like, y'all know the little high school relationships. He was cheating on me. And, well, we wasn't even together, but we was. he was still coming over to my house. And, um... Um, I don't know about y'all, but our football games out here, well, in Racine, um, like, they're intense, like, and then, like, they were on Friday nights, and then Friday nights, we'll all go to Wendy's after, like, after the football game, so it'll be cracking, you know, traffic jacking, parking lot pimping, all that shit, all that fucking high school fun shit, okay? So I'm telling y'all how I met the second boy, basically. So, um... So I was going, well, y'all asked about my first boyfriend, so, but yeah, so anyway, so he was talking to this girl at the football game and I was seeing them like hugged up and mind you, he's still coming to my house. So I'm like, what, what are you doing? Like, what the fuck? So I'm like getting so mad. Like I'm not saying shit to him yet. I'm just like mugging him. So then we all like, I get, you know, like how uh what is it called taco bell used to have those um what is a what was it called um it was like a starburst teeny or something i don't know i don't know what it was called oh, my god y'all these lights make me hot so if you see me sweating that's why i had a, that's why i was like you know what let me just do like have my makeup and you know finish it but anyway so yeah so we was at Wendy's and he was, um, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to confront him. Like, what the fuck? So I had my Taco Bell drink in my hand and he had on a white hoodie. He just got disrespectful with me. And I threw that shit on him. Like, I threw that shit all on his motherfucking ass. Everybody was like, oh! Oh! And then the boy that I seen, he was trying to make himself be seen, but it was the boy um, that my, was my second boyfriend in high school. So then after that, he I think he hit me up or something. So yeah, we start, you know, hanging out, whatever the fuck. And um, one day I knew I was going to have sex with him because, and he's, he was older than me, like, and he was 20 and I was like only 18. Yeah, I was only 18 because I was still in high school. So, he um, was like, do you... He was like, my mom is leaving out of town. Do you want to spend the night? And I never spent the night with him. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm going to fuck him. Like, we're going to have sex. Like, we're going to get it on. So, and then the first boy I was dating with, we, we wasn't on that type of, like, you know, level. We wasn't on that. We was on, like, still on the dry humping phase, okay? We was not a good thing because he fucking embarrassed me at that fucking football game, bitch. I was so fucking mad at him. But, yeah, we we didn't get take it there. So, um, yeah, I was saving my little coochie for somebody else. So, and he was a no good nigga, too. But, yeah, so I already knew I was gonna do it to him because... His mama wasn't there. I never done it. And he was more experienced than me. So he really took advantage of me. Like, but I wanted to do it too. I wanted to see what that did. 
So, <laughs> so yeah, so we had ended up doing it. And I was scared, y'all. Like, I was scared as fuck because he was a big nigga. Like, he wasn't fat, but he was tall. So, but yeah, we, I know we, it hurted. That shit hurted. And we stopped. And then, um, um, he wanted to do it again in the morning because he nasty. He probably was still horny. And he wanted to, like, you know, he wants to come. So, yeah, after that, basically, it was just like on and popping after that, bitch. I've been a hoe ever since, you know? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, that was my first time, you know, doing it. And I think that was my first time. Y'all nasty as fuck. Y'all really want to know the first time I gave. So <laughs> but I, yeah, he was the first one. And yeah, y'all know, I, I got tricks up my sleeve, okay? You can't be doing that with everybody, though. But that was my boyfriend at the time, so. But yeah, that's how I lost my B card. So, yeah. So, um, my first fuck boy, that was the one I told y'all about. Time getting flued out, y'all. Y'all really want to know all the tea, okay? Girl, my first time getting flued out was, when was my first time? It was, it was like two years ago, two or three years ago. And, um, he would always hit me up. I'm not telling y'all who it is. Y'all not gonna know who it is either. Cause, yeah. But we didn't even do nothing. Like, he was a fucking asshole. So, um, I was literally only there for a day. Like, but thank fucking God I knew my homegirl was out there. So, yeah, like, I wasn't even with him for like an hour. Like, he flew me out for no reason. So, but yeah. But he gave me some spending money. And he gave me a driver, so. That was a plus okay these are funny y'all funny vacation my first vacation was um when i was dating my ex and we where did we go for the i think we went to miami and y'all i never experienced miami um without a boy like it's always been with niggas like a nigga i was like fucking with and I really want to experience Miami. Like, I want to get on a boat. Like, I want to, you know. What the fuck am I doing? Why the fuck is you in this piece? Um, I want to get on a boat. Like, I want to, you know, be on Collins with my bitches. You know, I want to be in a fucking mansion or something. Like, I want to shake my ass. And my friend telling me it ain't fucking moving. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to experience that type of shit. And I just can't wait. Y'all, these flat irons is lit. No, this fucking hair is lit. Like, I hope this ain't blurry. I don't think it is. I need to get a new camera. I need to upgrade all my cameras because I be getting paranoid. Okay. First designer bag. Y'all. <laughs> well, does it count if I pay for it or he pay for it? But my first designer bag was a Louis. I really wanted to be Givenchy because... And when I first met my ex, like, he really is with, when I first met one of my exes, he was the one that introduced me to all the luxury shit. Like, he was introducing me to all the stuff, and he did it so fucking quick, y'all, so quick. I got my first bag with him within 10 days of knowing him, swear to God. But he wanted me so bad, I feel like he would, he was doing whatever to, you know, impress me, because he had to wait a year in my inbox and shit. Like, I literally was not... Because I was dating somebody else when he was trying to get with me. And, um... He literally had to wait, like, a year. Damn. And, um... So, the first time we kicked it... He he said something about my bag or something. He was like, we gotta get you in the Louis bag. And I was like, oh, shit, okay. And he did exactly that. We went to Chicago. And he was like, what bag you want? And I was like, um, I think I want a Givenchy. And he was like, no. He was like, slow your roll. <laughs> he was like, he was like, let's uh just stick with the Louis, you know, little starter, a uh, little starter. And I was like, okay, babe, like, okay. Like, y'all, I hate flutter in my hair. But, um, yeah, he was like... He was like, um, I was like, I want the Givenchy. Y'all know them Givenchy bags that was like in style back then. Well, they still in style, but they're not as trendy. But yeah, so he got me my first bag and he got my first 
bags honestly and um yeah but now a bitch can buy her own motherfucking bag period it ain't shit the call of delightful the Louis delightful yep that was my first ever designer purse and i sold it <laughs> Because I didn't really want it no more. It wasn't my vibe no more, you know? So I'm like, I'm giving this away. And plus, my ex nigga got me that, so that shit was for the birds. Get a new robe. I need to new, get new shit. <laughs> Man, I need a new camera. Real relationship. I feel like I really haven't had a real relationship yet. I really just want to experience um, my man as my friend first. You know, I want to um, experience that type of love first. I want us to connect on a friendship level first. Because once you have friendship involved and you just feel like you don't want to lose that person, I just feel like a man will treat you better. You know what I'm saying? Like, he'll treat you as if he don't ever want to lose you. Because you don't never want to lose nobody as no friend. And I feel like friendships are just different. You feel like you can go to your friend like first before like a boyfriend girlfriend because they probably might judge you off the shit and they just don't feel comfortable talking to you that's where communication fails and that's where secrets and shit all just you know come or whatever so i really just feel like that i want to feel i haven't really experienced a real relationship and i really want to so bad like these days it's getting to me these days kind of but not really but yeah somebody asked my first sugar daddy y'all really think i got sugar daddies okay. drinking alcohol y'all my first time drinking alcohol girl that shit burned my motherfucking throat it was uv blue too i was just like ew i thought that shit was gonna taste like kool-aid i ain't gonna lie to you i thought that shit was gonna be so good because I was afraid of the liquor. I was so scared. I was a scary girl in high school. I was a good girl. I would not do nothing. Because I didn't really want to upset my mama. And because y'all know I love my mama to the death of me. And I just didn't do anything bad. Like I just didn't have the urge to. But I think like my senior year I was like fuck that betrayal by a close friend my first time having betrayal by a friend um like real bad it was this one time um what the fuck why is that blinking i know i have storage on my damn camera but the first time i experienced betrayal um with a friend was probably this is why um i watch wise um like kick away and you know be friend with on the internet but well, they were basically like trying to be my friend and i let them around and then um the first time what had happened the first time what had happened they did some snake shit but the second time really like really fucking you know got to me because they asked me for some money and don't ever ask somebody for no fucking money and say that you're gonna pay them back and don't pay them back they said they were um gonna pay me back on a certain day i'm like okay cool whatever and i'm that type of friend like if you need me to do something for you and i know for facts um that you would do it for me i would i'm definitely like i'm that friend like but i don't i don't would never put nobody in a situation where i'm like hey bitch like i need some money like i would never put my friends in no situation like that you know what i'm saying but if it were need be i'm that friend that if you're my friend and you need something from me i'm like okay like i got you like i'm so fucking nice like that that's the whole fucking pisces in me i'm just too nice okay so anyway so basically time comes the day comes they didn't answer the phone um they were nowhere to be found so i'm like what the fuck so then i just ended up um requesting them um like to pay me on my cash app um because you're not gonna ignore the cash app request okay so then um 
they like um i don't have it i'm gonna um get it like tomorrow and i was like okay literally have not heard from that person since literally and this is why i don't have a lot of friends i literally need to i always watch who i surround myself with um i just really don't trust people i really don't you know i really don't trust people because i'm just so fucking nice and i just don't like when people take advantage of me that's why i keep a small i don't even have a fucking friend group like i have bitches that i'm cool with and then my friends so this kind i guess this falls into the same category as who was my first best friend um i don't i had a one the first best friend her name was like kaylin her name was kaylin forbes hey girl if you're watching this she was my first best friend in elementary school and i this was, was when when i was in like the preppy crowd and that was my home girl and then um yeah life goes on and then i just figure out i don't i never really had like a best friend because i feel like a best friend is somebody you can always count on no matter what like you don't have to ask them for nothing they just automatically know like a best friend is like your person like that's that's my road dog you know what i'm saying so the only person i feel that way with is my mom and that's my home girl you already know but um as far as me having like best friends and stuff i don't know this is off topic but uh, some of y'all are new here so i just want to let y'all in on stuff but yeah y'all know like i have my friends and then friends that i'm cool with but best friends i have not found her i don't know where she's at i don't know where he at he might be a he but yeah because i just I'm real I'm a really good friend like I'm a really good fucking friend okay and I just feel like I haven't found nobody to match my energy as a friend you know like I don't know I don't know how to explain it but not not nothing against like the friends that I have now but I'm just and then I wish I wish I would have had a homegirl like I grew up with but I didn't grow up like the all my friends that I grew up with like in high school and like um when i was living back in racine we just like grew apart like it was just it was it's no beef um just i was just on a different path than them so everything was just not working out yeah but there's no beef it's just like everybody just on different paths and just i don't know but yeah i don't know what the fuck i'm saying but yeah <laughs> my first fight actually actually you know what's crazy i was gonna do a story time on this but i guess i can fucking tell y'all now so okay so basically and it was with my friend see this is why i don't trust bitches again so she basically so it was the day before my graduation and i don't know if i said this before on my channel or not but basically i was looking cute it was the day before my graduation and um i go to her house and she was way older than me i think she was 21 and i'm like 19. no i was 18. um she was like 21 22 and i'm like 18 or whatever so but you know it's like lit outside it's hot everybody outside there before graduation this is when summertime was cracking so i go to her house and i'm like you know we finna do stuff for today and you know i'm looking cute i i don't remember exactly what i had on i had a bcbg um romper with these h&m shoes that exactly matched with the fucking outfit it was so fucking cute y'all like it was so cute i already felt like some vibes off her like i don't know she was mugging me and shit i'm like bad, bad vibes okay so okay so later on in the day we go um right down on these dudes and one of the dudes that was trying to talk to me used to talk to her and i didn't know that <laughs> I didn't know that so whatever so i don't know if that really like i don't know i think that made her mad but she ain't say nothing yet so we go to a party at night and he there we in the front talking and then just fast forward everything we went to the party together all we was all day together whatever so what had happened oh we was talking 
and um all of a sudden somebody i'm like where the fuck is my car and we all rode in my car and then so um i had called her i was like where the fuck is you at with my car like what the fuck and she was like uh-uh you too busy talking to that nigga in the front bitch woo woo like woo 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 so i'm like what the fuck i'm like pull up pull up so she pulled up and this other girl had the same car as me i thought she was in my motherfucking car like but don't but they did take my car but don't take my motherfucking car without my permission you know what I'm, that's bogus like don't go off with my car and my car keys like what the fuck that's some od shit so she they pull up they pull back up and then um i'm like get the fuck out the car like woo woo so she get out the car we both drunk as fuck so she get out the car and we just going back and forth i'm like yeah bitch whatever and then i walk away turn my back bitch this is the moment when I know I fucked up because this bitch threw a fucking drink on me. She threw a drink on my motherfucking back on my BCB jumper. Like, bitch, really? So then I'm like, oh, bitch, okay, I got you. So I went back in the party. I got um a drink to throw back on her ass. Yeah, I'm that petty. And I threw it back and we started squabbing. Like, we started squabbing it out. <laughs> Y'all, like, I was so irritated because I had a scratch on my knee and I was wearing a dress for graduation obviously and I'm I was like oh fuck my mama's gonna be on my motherfucking ass and then what's crazy is okay so literally y'all my hair black as fuck so anyway so literally me and the girl we go to the party together obviously what the fuck after we after we fight or whatever, somebody came and got me and we run around the corner and that I think they called my sister because she wasn't with me. So then we go back to the party and then she acting like everything's all normal. Like, ha ha ha. Like, and they like, did y'all just fight? Like, she got her arm wrapped around me and shit. And I'm like, so it's time for me to go home at this point. I got to go to graduation in the morning. You got to get your ass dropped off. Crazy as fuck. I don't know why I even dropped this bitch off. Off, which is the crazy part so i drop her off at home y'all get this this is the topping on the motherfucking cake she was like um she was like kyra i want to fight you again I'm like, I'm like bitch get the fuck out of my car get out of my car i have graduation in the morning thankfully her the homegirls we was with um as a group they followed us to her house because i'm like y'all need to come get her because she's trying to fight me again she like come on hit me hit me i'm like bitch what the fuck i'm like i'm not finna fight you we supposed to be friends you all been a party acting like we back kiki and ha, ha whatever the fuck like nothing happened but now we get to your house and you want to fight me again like bitch go i have shit to do okay so yeah that's the type of bitches that's crazy as fuck but yeah so then she ended up getting out the car y'all i'm sweating these fucking lights and she ended up getting out the car and i ended up going home my mom yelled at me and yeah that was that that was my first little fight girl and then me and her made up and then another incident happened and i'm like this bitch is not my friend okay so first kiss i don't even remember my fucking first kiss first kiss it had to be my first boyfriend yeah he has some big ass lips my first youtube video um it had to be my um what was it it was so fucking awkward um it was like me getting ready listening to music like i didn't even um say nothing i was just doing my makeup and just lipping the words like like on some snapchat shit like just the lyrics and shit so yeah i was just like yeah i was nervous to post my first youtube video honestly like but i always knew i wanted to do this like so yeah you are coming to an end i guess i can get into this next one that y'all i have been asking me a lot of y'all have been asking um what was my first youtube check and my first youtube check y'all it was six hundred dollars six hundred dollars and i was so geeked like i was ready i was so happy like, like oh my god you can really make money like you can really make money off this this is crazy so yeah six hundred dollars was my first youtube check and um um somebody asked what did i do with it and I'm like, saved it? 
I was over a thousand subscribers and then you have to have like 4,000 hours of watch time and my first video that blew up was my um living off a dollar for a day because you know it only takes one youtube video for your shit to be you know popping so i was so happy that video helped me get to a 10,000 subscribers which is crazy so yeah that was my first big video that um you know let me get my adsense and yeah I'm so happy that I made a YouTube channel because this shit has really changed my life and I'm so fucking grateful for y'all like y'all have really put me in a good ass position to you know pursue my dreams and if you are pursuing a YouTube channel please don't quit please keep going don't be discouraged I get discouraged all the fucking time I'm like what the fuck are you doing Kyra what the fuck are you doing what do you think you're doing bitch but y'all have transformed my life so much like I can't even express like the feeling that I have for y'all, y'all have really changed my fucking life. Like, I will never forget my first YouTube check, $600, my first time getting one subscribers, 100 subscribers. Like, that shit felt like it was a, a fucking million every time somebody subscribed to me. So, I and I always manifested, like, loyal subscribers. Loyal, like a loyal YouTube family. And I'm so grateful for y'all like I don't even want to get emotional or nothing but it's true and I'm just so happy that y'all genuinely like me somebody said the other day they're like how is she affording all these luxury things and she only has a little bit of subscribers y'all if you think 170,000 subscribers is a little bit you're fucking tripping like even 50k like that's not even a a small number that's a lot of fucking people in a fucking stadium but it's not even about like i'm gonna be the first one to tell you i don't even know if i'm the first one to tell you but i'm gonna be the one to tell you like you do not need a large subscriber account to make fucking money on youtube like you don't so i'm just letting y'all know the tea okay just make sure you are engaging with your audience just just be pure and just make sure your audience know that you genuinely fuck with them. Like, for real. Like, on a genuine tip. Don't be fake. Don't be this genuine. None of that shit. Okay? But, yeah. I'm telling y'all. But I love y'all so much. Like, I love y'all so much. Okay, so this is pretty much all straight. So, I'm gonna finish my makeup. Y'all, yeah, but this hair... This hair is bomb, okay? Make sure y'all check the description box below because, girl, you need your wig. But I'm gonna show y'all the laces. That's not even the best part. So I'm about to finish my hair and then make my part crispy. I'm going for like this hairstyle Eric and Tay did on Ari. Like he put, he did that on her and some other shit. I don't know. I gotta focus but yeah so I'll be right back okay y'all so I just finished my hair and it's so cute so this was the uh hair Eric and Tay did on Ari it's so cute he like curled her bottom part and so I just did that with um my flat irons and then um just twist my hair and this fucking lace look at my fucking lace like this looks like my hair so make sure y'all check the description box below so y'all can get y'all wig encounters honey okay so yeah y'all so that wraps up this video i hope you guys enjoyed i love y'all so fucking much like let me know what y'all want to see because y'all know you know i'm gonna deliver to y'all so anyways i love y'all so much and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all next video bye